Although I have recently made a reputation selling Moldavites under $100, I want to turn you on to something special I do for the pieces that get more valuable. I give them special names like Essie Nessie, because this one looks like a little Loch Ness monster or a swan swimming along in a lake. Piece like this, far away, it looks like hell, looks black, but it stands and that has value to me. And when you hold it up, you see the incredible textures. Never mind what it looks like once the light starts coming through it, which is wow. So even the ones that are darkest and might not seem that exciting become much more exciting when you take a close look at the incredible detail and when you hold it up to the light and see that color quality come through. That one is so thick that it's not a uniform color when you do hold it up. So the names that I give these pieces, like I was saying, have to do with how they look. This one is kind of a drop and it's got a big fat crater in it. Nice color too. I'm not gonna show the color on all of them, but I wanna just explain why it is that I give them names to distinguish them. This one I call Buddha head because it looks like so many of the carved Buddha heads minus the detail um, that you often see in um, a truly carved Buddha head. And I value them particularly when they're standing. So I'll say standing on it. This one, Evergreen Flame, is a very cool piece. It does look like flames going on all the way around. And then the reason I call it Evergreen is because it has this bit of more olive drab color going on to it. Over here, we have what I call the emerald cloud. So basically, without doing anything, you're able to see that it's very bright and pretty in color. Of course, you can point it up to the light and still get that amazing light green wonder. And then there's a famous color called poison, which I have re-spelled poison because I don't want it to actually sound like the word poison, because who wants to enjoy something that is poison? And then you see that color, it is a very rich and intense hue. And what I like about this piece and its partner over there is that they have a very unique and glassy texture to them that I think adds a lot of value energetically because not only are you looking at extreme detail on the surfaces, but you've got a color inside that is distinctive. And then you have a texture, not just the, the physical texture, but the glassiness on the surface that makes it actually, these two, totally different from any of the other pieces here. So the last one I'll show you is the emerald log. You'll notice it has that emerald coloring, maybe a little more evergreen, but then you hold it up to the light and you got a pretty color. And the other side is flat, just like it was in a lumber mill and they just sawed off half of the log. And so one half is, this might make it actually a really good pendant because it lies flat on one side and has texture on the other. So before I go making it into a pendant, you might want to consider that as you think about whether this is the type of investment you want to make into some very special Moldavites that have had the type of TLC that gives each one a unique name and has some logic and reason behind those names and behind the groupings and also the pricing. I'm Kyle, your crystal guide. You can always email me, K-Y-L-E, Kyle at crystalconcentrics.com. I look forward to hearing from you. I hope you subscribe on all my channels and I look forward to bringing you lots of great new content. Thanks for watching.